Hi everybody. Our destination today is to make sprouted chocolate chip cookies in a skillet. It is super fun to make and it is super easy. And it's one of those dishes that you can make when you think somebody's coming over and you want to have something special for them. And it's one of the most delicious recipes that I've made in a while. So everybody loves it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. And we're going to use sprouted flour, which is lots better for you than regular flour because when you sprout something, the nutrients increase, it becomes digestible, and sprouted flour digests like a vegetable and not like a grain. Leaves stress off the pancreas, so it's a great, fun food to make for people that you're going to love. It's super easy too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. And then you're going to turn your skillet, your cast iron skillet, you need to use a cast iron skillet for this to work. You're going to turn that to about medium high heat. And then you're going to get four ounces of butter or one stick of butter. But since I make my own butter, which I'm going to show you how to do one of these days, um, it's super fun. See the different colors? The darker the color of your butter, the more nutrients in your butter, which means your cows are eating rapidly growing grass. And so it makes their butter yellow, which increases your nutrients. And you're going to melt that in your skillet. As you have it all melted before you add any other ingredients. Now after the butter is melted, we're going to add a cup of sucanat. You can use coconut sugar, you can use um, any kind of sugar really. This is the one that I prefer to use and we're going to just plop it into the butter. And you need about a cup. And we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to put a teaspoon of that in here. This is my homemade rum vanilla that I have on my website that you can find the recipe for. And then we're going to stir this all together until it's absorbed. And then we're going to remove it, turn the heat off and remove it from the heat and let it sit for about five minutes so that it cools just a little bit. Okay, and after it's set for five minutes, you're going to get an egg and you're going to crack the egg in the center of your pan. And then you're going to stir it real quickly because you don't want the egg to turn into scrambled eggs. So you want to get it really well mixed until it, it gets all through the mixture. And then you're going to add your other ingredients. You're going to add a cup and a half of sprouted flour. Just dump it in the pan. It's easy. And then a half a teaspoon of baking soda. and then a fourth of teaspoon of good salt, like Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt. Get something that has minerals because it actually really does increase the flavor and it also helps you absorb your nutrients and it's got minerals in it so it's great for you. And then you're gonna mix it all together real quickly. You don't wanna over mix it, you just want to get it all combined without over mixing it. Okay, when that's all mixed together and you don't see any more white specks, and then you're going to add your one cup of chocolate chips. And you just want to barely get them around the pan, just a little bit, until they're all they're kind of uniformly around the pan so that you're going to, everybody's going to get some chocolate chips when they you get a bite of this. And then, you're going to take that whole thing and you're going to stick it in the oven for 15 minutes. This is a super fun way to make chocolate chip cookies and you're not making cookies all day and scooping them out in little round spoonfuls. You're doing it in one pan, takes five, really five minutes to make and then you're done. So now we're going to top our sprouted chocolate chip cookie in a skillet with some kefir ice cream. This is some that I made this afternoon. And you can leave it a little bit warm if the ice cream is really frozen. There you go. It's a great dessert and it's got a little bit of probiotics in the ice cream. <laughs>